welcome back to the little black shade tree today we are going to do edible images I'm going to show you how to put edible images on your cake today I have a fondant covered cake but you can do this on buttercream as well as you obviously see at grocery stores quite often first off what you want to do is call your local grocery store and ask if they sell edible images I haven't found Walmart to usually do it but other grocery stores usually will and they sell them for eight dollars that's always been the standard that I've experienced and they sell them in eight by ten sheets so what you want to do is find the image that you want and there is always the rule you can't do copywritten images and you might think wow that eliminates just about every birthday theme you can think of but it really doesn't now there are an immense amount of photos that you can use on your cake that are not copywritten so my daughter wants a ballerina themed cake so what I did was I went to Google and I found an image a large image of sheet music some I wanted some antique looking sheet music so I found this and I put it into an 8x10 image and I had it printed at Walmart and then I did the same thing the bottom tier I wanted to have a beautiful oil painting of a ballerina so I put this I used Photoshop you can use other programs but I used Photoshop to put these images onto a nice standard 8x10 so I didn't have trouble with sizing and resizing and you don't have to take 8x10 images to your grocery store for the edible images I did this because I didn't want the grocery store to be blowing up my image and it for, to get pixelated you if you don't really care about the quality of the image that much if it's not a big deal then just have them blow it up it's not a big deal the grocery store can resize them they can make them smaller they can make them bigger and that's fine but I did not want to lose quality on these photos so I went ahead and printed out or I didn't print out I ordered at Walmart the full 8x10 image so here's my ballerina and on Photoshop I went ahead and put it into an oval because that's not the way it was and I made two of them because edible images come in 8x10 sheets and I didn't need an 8x10 eight, eight for the ballerina you could always use an extra in case something goes haywire so I went ahead and I duplicated it so on my edible image I actually have a backup ballerina which really is a big deal when you've got a cake that's due the next day or that evening and you don't have time to drive 30 minutes to the grocery store to have them reprint an image here are my images I had these printed off on Tuesday and the really good quality ones last for weeks at least at least weeks inside the plastic baggies but you need to keep them away from sunlight because that will bleach the color and make them fade and you need to keep them in the airtight little baggies um, also keep them flat and safe <laughs> anyway I went ahead and here they are I got two of the sheet music ones and one of the ballerina now I am a little bit nervous because the cake decorator at my grocery store who printed these off for me she said that the batch of image paper that they got was really thin and had been really a big struggle to get off the backing and she's been having trouble putting holes in it and things like that so I am nervous she said that if I have a problem just to come back and she'll reprint them for free but that is a 30 minute drive there and a 30 minute drive back and I got a lot of work to do so I'm really hoping not to have that trouble if you're having trouble getting the image off the backing one thing you can do is image facing up run it alongside the corner of a table like this and it helps it give she also said that you can stick it in the freezer for just a minute or two and pull it back out and it'll make it a little bit more stiff so we're gonna work on that what you need is a little bit of a moist surface you don't want to spray it down with water and make the colors bleed but you do need it to be just moist enough to be sticky and that usually isn't a problem with buttercream but fondant obviously dries nice uh, nice and dry so I'm gonna get a little bit of water and just get it just a little bit damp 
and a little bit sticky and we're gonna wrap it. So our top tier is going to be our sheet music that I'm gonna wrap all the way around the cake and the bottom is going to be this ballerina down here like this. And then after we get that on, I'm gonna have fun decorating. We've got ballerina shoes, we've got a crown, we've got a flower, it's gonna be gorgeous. So let's get started. I painted the cake with some more water to make it sticky. I pulled out my images from the plastic wrap and I trimmed off the excess white since I didn't want that on there. And this was a bit of a challenge. It does help to kind of rub it against the edge of your table and it really, really helps when you stick it in the freezer for a minute or so and then pull it out and try to remove it immediately after the freezer. That was really, really helpful. It's especially hard when you're trying to do big 8x10s like I'm doing right now. Usually the images I work with are much smaller. But somehow we made it work and most of it was especially helpful when I actually cut it into three pieces instead of trying to pull off an entire 8x10. And luckily, since I was doing sheet music, that was very uh, merciful in letting me do that because you can't normally just cut up your edible images into pieces, but this actually worked out really well and it looked like old paper. I wrapped it up in some pretty ribbon, glued it with some melted candy wafer, and then painted on the front with some more water. I'm excited. This is the ballerina oil painting that I absolutely love. I went ahead and stuck it on the front there where I wanted it. Make sure to press from the inside out so you don't have any more air bubbles. I took my X-Acto knife and cut away the excess edible image. Then I took more water, painted around the edge of the frame, and I stuck on my beautiful golden pearls. I absolutely loved this fondant frame that I made. I used a, a tutorial from Avalon Cakes and the link is in the description. I highly recommend it. I used my edible gold to do the final touches and make it look absolutely gorgeous. Alright, the cake is done and the edible images turned out, which I'm very grateful for, especially the ballerina. I went ahead and put it directly onto the cake and it worked out great. As you can see, I did a fancy, beautiful border around the ballerina. I actually used a tutorial by Avalon Cakes to do that and it looks challenging, but it was actually really simple. I did a small adaptation of some of the pieces, but it was actually really simple. Simple. So look that up. The link is in the description. It was a great tutorial and it's absolutely gorgeous. My favorite part was that I didn't have to purchase a custom sized frame. I actually looked all over the internet and I couldn't find any frame molds, silicone frame molds, that were bigger than a few inches. And that was disappointing. I wasn't planning on spending a lot of money, but it was, it'd be nice to know <laughs> that you can find them. But anywho, I am really, really glad that I took this on and custom made this frame because now I love knowing that I can make a beautiful frame for any size, any shaped image that I want, which actually makes me want to do even more edible images. Yes. The sheet music turned out really well, at least a few of the pieces that I got on the front. I am going to go back to the store hopefully this morning and get them to reprint me a sheet. But just remember that the sheets are usually much thicker and much higher quality and they're much easier to deal with. But either way, stick them in the fridge. Oh my goodness, I'm not sorry, not the fridge. Stick them in the freezer 
Oh my goodness, that was a lifesaver. And if you can't make it all the way back to your table before trying to peel it off, because it warms up so fast, because they're really, really thin, they warm up really fast. So just take them directly from your freezer right to your countertop and peel them off right then. This also was the first time I've ever tried doing an entire eight by 10 picture. I usually have smaller images like the ballerina and I cut them out because they're smaller. However, this attempt with the eight by 10, normally, again, it's easier, so you should be able to get an entire eight by 10 sheet off your paper. However, if you're struggling, do what I did and cut it into smaller pieces. Obviously, that's not something you wanna do if it's a picture of someone's face or your kids, but if it's something like sheet music, something that's a little bit more hmm, abstract, Go ahead and cut it up, it'll make your life easier. And that's it, I hope you use edible images more often or if you're a first timer, go get some. They are easy to get and usually pretty easy to use. So they are really, really fun and there's nothing greater than seeing the kid's face going, oh my goodness, my face is on this cake. <laughs> like my daughter, she loves the cake so far and she loves the ballerina. So go ahead and customize your cake even more now that you know how to use edible images. Please give it a try. I would love to see it and I'll see you in the next video.